Hey all, Jerry from Bliss Studio, working on Trixel Rocket 2. And so what am I working on today? So in this devlog, I want to show you kind of where I'm at. I've uh, worked on the trigger or the... So where am I... What? Bleh. So what have I been working on today? Well, I am working on a trigger system that is going to fire off a little piece of animation within the UI. Now, what I have is just temporary and I'm going to be working on it and making it look a lot better, but I just want to get it working first and uh, so that I have that in the game and it works. Okay, so here let me show you what I have as the trigger system. So let's go ahead and kind of zoom in here to the trigger system. So I have, what I've created is these little pie shapes. And anytime an enemy enters one of those little pieces of pie, I have a, a Playmaker FSM that then goes and fires off an animation. And then it goes back and plays, or, or goes back to the trigger entry system, and it waits to see when the next time an enemy enters one of those triggers. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the trigger system real quick. So again, each of these little pie pieces is a trigger and I'm detecting each one of those. And then when somebody hits that or when an enemy hits that, it's going to play an animation uh, that's part of the UI. So currently part of the UI I have is just a little square. And if somebody hits it, then it just animates, um, fades out. So let's look at the trigger real quick. So here's my trigger system. What I've done is to, I, I act, deactivate my, my UI game object just to make sure that it's off. And then I also am waiting for an enemy to enter in my little, uh, pie piece. When an enemy does enter that, that trigger, then I go ahead and go to the second state, which says, turn that UI game object on. Then I also want to play the animation. So it's currently just a little square that then fades out. And I'm gonna wait for 0.6 seconds to wait for that animation to play and finish. And then once it does, then it's gonna go back to this entry and just turn that game object off, turn the, uh, the UI piece off just to make sure it's off. And then also just waiting for the next time an enemy enters. So this is kind of what I've set up for my trigger system. It's fairly simplistic in nature. Um, but it works. So uh, eventually I'm going to have 360 degrees and then those are going to tie into the UI somehow and you know the UI is going to look a lot better. So let's go ahead and give this a play real quick so just so we can see it in action. So here we can see my pie piece and I'm detecting to see when somebody's going to or when an enemy is going to enter that pie piece. Let's go ahead and just maximize our game so we can see this and let's hit play. Okay, so here we have the game and I'm waiting for, you can see I've got this enemy that's that's a torpedo bomber and it just circles the planet. Then I also have other enemies that are kind of spawning around, but I'm mainly detecting this guy right here. So let's go ahead and uh, play so we can see this in action. Just up these enemies and you can see as this guy rotates around, he's hitting those triggers and then there's there's a piece of the animation uh, for the UI that fires off. And then as he kind of moves around, you see there's the next one. As he continues around, he's gonna hit each one of these. And I'm gonna get killed if I don't watch it. So let me just fire off a few torpedoes at him. Using up my shield here pretty quick. But you get the idea. So here he is, he's flying around and he's hitting those triggers. Now I only have a few of those triggers in my game at the moment. And let's unmaximize. Again, I only have a few of those triggers, so I need to create a lot more of those uh, 360, so we can do a 360 degree uh, angle of our UI. Anyway, that is what I'm working on. That's Trixel Rocket 2 at the moment. Again, I'm just working on it in the little pieces here and there, but it is coming along pretty good, and it's pretty fun to play, actually. Anyway, uh, that's your devlog update. Again, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon down there so you know when the next devlog is available.